Not only is this bunkhouse travel trailer new for 2024, it also is probably the best bunkhouse travel trailer floor plan I have ever seen. On paper, it is not the biggest bunkhouse travel trailer that I've ever seen, and yet still somehow it manages to feel larger inside than literally anything else that I have seen out there. So let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and we are taking a look at this 2024 Alliance Delta 321 BH. This is a brand new travel trailer for 2024. They just debuted this thing not that long ago, and I cannot wait to show y'all inside because this is legitimately the largest feeling bunkhouse travel trailer RV I have ever stepped foot in. But specs wise, it's not the biggest. So it's really impressive what they did in here. Before we go inside, first I wanna let you know I am at Blue Compass RVs in Dallas, Texas. Now, I am filming here in Dallas today, but they also have a hundred different locations or over a hundred different locations across the United States in 33 different states. So if you are interested in this RV, you can just pop into a Blue Compass RV dealer or there will be a link down below in the comments or description that will take you to their website where you can get the most up-to-date pricing information, see what locations there are and get in touch with somebody for purchasing your next RV. Now, as we go through this model here with a bunkhouse model in particular, there's one big upgrade that a lot of people make to their RVs, especially when you're dealing with bunk beds and that is the mattresses. So I wanna to talk to y'all about how you can get the mattresses you deserve in your RV real quick before we step inside. This here is the mattress inside of my parents' fifth wheel RV and let's be real, this is hardly a mattress at all. They had to put two mattress toppers on top of this thing to make it even tolerable and it was tolerable at best. So I'm glad to let you know that this video is sponsored by RVmattress.com and Brooklyn Bedding to help you get the best night's sleep that you can inside of your RV, whether it's in a standard king or queen size bed or unconventional RV size beds or bunk beds. I was really grateful to be able to bless my parents with a brand new mattress. So we were able to get rid of this junky thing and put in the Aurora Lux mattress from Brooklyn Bedding. And they have not stopped raving to me about how much they love this mattress and how comfortable it is and like having their mattress at home on the road. So a couple different things. One, for the month of April, you can actually get 35% off your next RV mattress order, which is the biggest discount I've ever seen RVmattress.com do. And you can do that by clicking the link down below in the comments or description of this video. And it is going to give you a number to text and it is going to send you that discount code. So you can go do that there. And then any other time throughout the course of the year, you can use the discount code miles on RVmattress.com or use that link to get 25% off throughout the rest of the year. But definitely take advantage of the sale in April because this is a huge deal. So go check that out. There will be a link down below in the description of this video where you can upgrade your mattress there and really exciting deals going on. As we step inside, stay tuned for the outside as well because there is a really great outdoor kitchen and the storage out here is really impressive as well. As we go inside, this is warranted for full-time RVing. So I definitely want to know if y'all could see yourself potentially living in an RV like this. And then it does have an Asdell sidewall, so it's gonna be a composite panel sidewall. That is going to basically mean that you don't have wood components in your sidewall, so that's gonna make it water resistant. It's also more lightweight. Solid step here as you walk in, and then a nice looking black frame, or black uh, color on the interior of this door. And as we walk inside, y'all, come on. Come on now. This is just insane how huge this space is. It is crazy. Now, I want to know, I'm going to give you a second to look at it. If you can tell what they did here that made this space feel so big that is different from other bunkhouse travel trailers out there in the market, I'm going to give you like five seconds to see if you can figure it out. It's in clear sight if you know what to look for. And if you said that they made this a super slide out, you would be correct because this here all of this wood frame all the way back to the back sidewall, so the bunk beds and the dining table are both in the same slide out, meaning they were able to open up all of this floor space here. And this is something I have not seen a single other RV manufacturer do. So very impressive with how they laid this thing out and were able to open up all this floor space. 
That also gives you a bunch of seating space. So you get three recliners directly across from your TV, whereas most bunkhouse travel trailers only give you two recliners, and then you still get the dining table. Now, specs on this travel trailer, it's right at 36 feet, 11 inches long, so we can just go ahead and round up and say 37 feet, and it's under 9,000 pounds unloaded. Fully loaded, it's gonna go over 10,000 pounds, but I've seen bunkhouse travel trailers that the dry weight is 10,000 pounds on that don't feel this big. So very impressive all the way around. Let's start with the kitchen space and then we'll work our way back. So here in the kitchen, you have a nice U-shaped kitchen arrangement. I really love the look and design of just the drawers and the cabinets. It just looks well finished. You have a flat ceiling here, so that allows them to get the tallest cabinet heights that they can get. You also have about a seven foot tall ceiling, so something to keep in mind. These cabinets here, they are actual, actually black. They're not a glass, so you can't see through them. That's nice, so if you have your stuff back behind here and it looks kind of cluttered, you don't see it when these doors are closed. Soft close hinges on these cabinets, storage up above here, and storage back through here that goes back into the corner. More storage through here, and you have magnet latches there to hold those closed. Stainless steel sink, your backsplash matches the counter color. So that looks really good as well. And this is like a, you know, a pressed and wrapped countertop material. It's not like the solid surface stone feeling countertop there. You have a drain in the stainless steel sink that goes off to the side. So it's not a middle drain, it's off to the side. I like that. Black faucet, AC controls here, and you have a dimmer switch on your lights. So that's a more premium fifth wheel feature that we're seeing in a travel trailer here. Love that. Speaking of lights, your lights also sit flush with the ceiling there so they don't have that dome to them. Gives it a little bit more of a modern feel. Tons of countertop space all through here. And we have the price right there. We'll get to that in a second. Outlets underneath here, lights underneath here, outlets underneath this corner as well. And then you have a three burner stove, pretty standard Furion three burner stove for an RV. And oven underneath here, standard RV size oven. They give you a little toe kick area there so you have more toe space to stand in this area, which nice thought out feature. Big spot here for pots and pans. And this looks like this is using actual real wood in these drawer constructions as well. So that is really nice too. You have a spot here for utensils. See your drawer construction here. And they have three pull-out drawers and more storage back through here that goes all the way back to the corner. So really nice kitchen space. Of course, when I turn around, you have your refrigerator there. It's a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Open this up. We're a little bit on level right now, so these won't really stay open on their own, but you have that there, it looks nice. Three recliners along this way, and it should be noted too, the um, light tones in here are definitely a warmer light, and you can tell by how cool that white lighting is underneath the sofa compared to the rest of the lighting in here. So definitely a very warm, kind of cozy feel in this travel trailer, but not too warm. All three of these cushions will recline, and when you recline them, they will lay flat. You have your light controls right here. You have cup holder there, outlet here, USB and USB type C connections here in the armrest as well. And they even worked in all this storage back behind here that gives you a lot of space to work with. You have nice big windows all along this side window there and they do have pull down blackout shades on the windows. So you can get that privacy or block out the sun. And these are actually a really nice, almost cloth feeling material and yeah, that just feels really good. Huge door going to the bunk room, and then you have your dining table here, some additional storage here. I don't see a pantry, so I'm guessing this is probably gonna be like your pantry space. And oh, this has shelves that pull out. That's nice. I can see a magnet latch back there that will hold them in place. You have shelves that pull out like so. So that will be what most people will use as a pantry space. And then, a couple things to mention here, some of this stuff is on the outside, um, but no carpet in here, so that's a really great thing that you don't have to deal with carpet, no floor vents in here. 
Um, 27,000 BTU eight, um, air conditioning system, so two 13,500 ACs. And you can run two ACs on here with 30 amp. So that is something that is really impressive that hasn't really been a possibility prior to you know something within the last year that Alliance has done where you're getting two ACs now that can both run on a 30 amp connection as well as obviously a 50 amp connection. So love that. Dining table here, you have your booth dinette. Two different ways to get to the storage underneath the booth dinette. You can get through that door here, or you can see you have a nice thick board underneath here and you can lift that up to get to that storage. No carpet in the slide outs. The slide out flooring material matches the rest of the flooring material. This dining table, you can take these legs out and set the table down on these black posts right here. Use the back cushions on top of that to make it a bed if you would like but I don't know why you would need to because there's a ton of sleeping in here that you'll see in a second. That looks to be about a, probably a 35 to 40 inch screen TV. You have some storage space back behind there and storage space through here as well. And you'll have the same storage on the other side. Get a little window here. And then as we go back into the bunk room, it is such a cool bunk room that you have back in this space. These beds are about six feet long. You can see these are a little bit wider than traditional bunk beds. And that's where if you need to upgrade your RV mattresses, going to rvmattress.com or really using the link down below in the description where you can get the discount is the best place to go because you'll be able to get mattresses that fit these bunk sizes and get RV specific mattresses with tons of different options. Then you have this traditional size RV bunk that's a little bit more narrow than the other two. Again, about six feet long and this flips up, it is strut assisted, so it'll stay up on its own. And then you have this sofa here that you can sit down on, hang out on, take a nap on, whatever. You can put a TV up on the wall if you would like. Or if you're just not sleeping that many people, you could also take the bunk bed off here, put a TV back in that space as well. So a lot of flexibility with what you can do with a space like this. Looks like you have a ton of storage. There's an outdoor kitchen behind this space, so these won't go back terribly far, but that's four big drawers there that you have. Because there's no heat vents in the floor, you can see your heating is ran through areas like this right here. Outlets right there as well. Two shelves in this space and two shelves up above this bunk. You have a vent fan right here and this is interesting. Is this prepped to add a third AC? This sticker wouldn't be here unless it was prepped to add a third AC. So this might be the first travel trailer I have seen that is prepped to add a third AC on it. That is really nice and really cool, especially if you're thinking about living in something like this in a warmer climate. Having the ability to have an AC in each room is basically unheard of. So that is really, really interesting. And I love to see that. That is just something I did not even expect to come across and have not talked to anybody about, but looks like that's the case. Outlet USB port here, and that's a USB, or sorry, I said outlet and USB port, it's just a USB port, but a USB and a USB type C connection on all of your USB ports in this bunk room. And every bunk bed gets its own USB port. See another one down here. And there's another one in this corner behind that bunk. Ladder to get up to that other top bunk. And that's pretty much everything in this bunk room. Although, uh, let me show you what this looks like in a bed formation so you can see how this will look. Set this camera up right here, get this up a little bit, and super easy to make this into a bed. All you do is just take these back cushions off. Also, keep in mind, this all can come out. If you wanted to put something different in here, if you wanted to even put like a residential style sofa back in this space, oh, and uh, my truck powering the RV right now must have just turned off. But you now have a bed right here that you can lay down. and you can use that as a bed space. So lots of flexibility with what you can do back here in this area. Let me put this back up into the sofa configuration and get the power back on. Okay, got the power back on, got this back into a sofa. And let me know what you think about this bunkhouse travel trailer so far. Again, you have this huge sliding pocket door as well. So that will slide all the way across like so, giving you privacy for your people that are staying back in the bunkhouse area. You have a nice big speaker up here in the ceiling that I just noticed. And then this will slide back open. 
I think that's everything in this space. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, you have a dual ducted AC system, so you can see ducting coming out of both sides of the AC, giving you more vents in this space. And I think I touched on just about everything else. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. But if I did, let me know down below in the comments. Controls for slide outs and different um, uh, tank levels and different things like that. You do have 12 volt heat pads on your water tank, so that's important. That's going to be an electric heat source to keep your water tanks from freezing, whether you're you know, out camping in your RV or you're towing your RV with water in the tanks in below freezing temperatures. Something interesting that Alliance Delta does is they make this bathroom wall slanted ever so slightly, so it makes this hallway wider, which is another really nice thing that they do that doesn't really make any difference in your bathroom space. I mean, you don't feel it at all, but it definitely makes a difference in the hallway. So love that. Again, just love how clean and concise all the cabinets and drawers look. A nice extra large stainless steel sink. You can see how my hands fit into this space. You have your medicine cabinet up above here. You can see your storage in that space. And then that will close like so. It's a soft close cabinet door. All of this storage through this area here. And look at this shower, y'all. This shower is huge for a travel trailer. Soft close seat on your toilet, porcelain foot flush toilet. Again, with the ceiling height being about seven feet, even with a step up into the shower down here, you still have great ceiling height. So when I step up in here, oh yeah, it's like six foot, gosh, probably six foot four to right here. So you could be about six, seven in the skylight. This also sits nice and high, so camera's at my eye height right now, and I don't really have to duck to get underneath it. You have this nice flexible shower curtain, and that skylight runs almost the entire length of the shower. Instead of having a little tiny skylight, they give you a bigger one so that you actually can utilize all that extra head height throughout most of the length of that shower. Now, it is a plastic two-piece shower, in that bathroom and you do have a spot here to hang some towels and whatnot and you have a vent fan up here in the ceiling. Oh, even this, this is a nice thing too. You have a spot to put soap and to hold toothbrushes in that area. And I forgot to show you all the storage here. You have three drawers to pull out so they'll all be about that size and storage space down underneath here. As we go back to the bedroom, going to have a queen size bed in the bedroom. Really nice, well-designed bedroom. It looks well finished out. It doesn't look like they cheaped out on anything. Even, I mean, especially when you go back into this space, you have reading lights for each individual. You have a blue mood light and a warm tone light there. You have hidden storage down underneath here. Great place to hide things. If you take the sticker off, it's gonna be very hard to tell that there's storage underneath there and a good spot to Put your um, valuables as well as any pew pew devices or anything like that. And then you have drawers here. Should be noted, all of the drawers have a support beam underneath so they can hold up to 90 pounds. Storage through here, love that they give you the option to have the shelf in here or you can take it out. So you can do one or the other clothing rod. And this looks huge. Yeah, that is bigger than most storage spots over a bed get a headboard, and each individual will have outlets, USB, USB type C connections, and their own reading light, and their own hidden storage, and a drawer. In addition to that, you also have all this additional storage. You have your second AC here in the bedroom. This will just be a dump down AC, so it's gonna come out of these little vents here and out of here. And then you have a spot for a TV on the wall. Now, the only thing that this travel trailer is missing as far as something to live in full time that some people insist on having, is washer dryer connections. So it does not have washer dryer connections. You cannot hook up a washer and dryer in this RV. And I'm curious if that's something that you must have in an RV or if this model here still works without that for you. Um, I know it's, it's really 50-50. Some people feel like they need it and some people don't. So I'm curious what you think. Now underneath the bed, you have storage here and it has this kind of floating shelf there where you can store additional things in that area and definitely your most basic of basic rv mattresses so 
Again, if you want to upgrade your RV mattress, you can use the link down below in the comments or description of this video to get a discount on getting the mattress you deserve in your RV. Sliding pocket door for this bedroom, its own thermostat controls here in the bedroom, so you can have independent control of this AC and the AC out there to get this room at the temperature that you want it to be comfortable. And that is pretty much everything on the inside. So very curious what you think. Let me know down below in the comments and then we're gonna go outside and take a look at all of the cool stuff on the outside. So as we walk out here, has the tinted glass entry door. Gonna walk back up front and the storage through here is incredible, but not only that, they do some really cool stuff through here. So that drop frame that you get right here, this is something that Alliance Delta util utilizes that most travel trailer RV brands are not doing. That gives you a bigger storage space through here. I mean, absolutely massive. And then they give you this table right here. So you can see you have a device here to open and close this so it stays in place. And you have a six foot picnic table that stores up in here. So I love that, that is really cool. You have manual switches for your awnings right here. So if it starts raining on you real quick, you don't have to go searching for your phone, open an app or run inside to close your awning. You can do it from right here outside. This is the light switch for your front cap. And then you have USB and USB type C connections here as well. Um, looks like you have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof with a 40 amp solar charge controller. You have a spray port right here. So this is hot and cold water on this spray port. Most spray ports on travel trailers are just cold water. This actually has the option for hot and cold water with those white knobs right there. You can set the water temperature and we'll get to that on the other side in just a little bit. And you have a spot right here where you can run water lines down through so you can keep this door closed. You have manual stabilizers. Um, not the worst thing in the world though, honestly, you can just get a drill attachment that connects to here. These will actually shoot down faster than electric stabilizers if you use that um, drill bit. But keep in mind that these are not to level the RV. To level the RV, you have to use blocks underneath the tires and the tongue jack up front. Fully enclosed underbelly, all your water lines and water tanks sit above the enclosed underbelly and you do have the 12 volt heat pads on those water tanks. You have Goodyear Endurance E-rated tires, and then it has a rack and pinion style slide out mechanism. And it has a standard, looks like a Dexter uh, suspension down underneath there. Also, let's see, looks like pretty solid construction as well on these uh, um, points there for that suspension. Oh yeah, actually you can see too, like with the suspension, they're using this additional beam right here for that and then connect it all into there with all those additional pieces of support to make sure that suspension and all those pieces where a lot of force is felt when you're towing and turning this thing stay intact longer. And this here is your outdoor kitchen. Look at this griddle grill combination that you get here. This is a huge cooking surface. I love this, this looks really nice. And I just love the look and design of it. And then it's all strut assisted right here. So you just push this back into that space right there. And it just kind of have to assist it. But it makes it so it's, uh, oh shoot, I, that's why I didn't put that down all the way. There we go. Yeah, and it just makes it so it feels nice going in and out and you can tell it's just well done. I mean, you get the Delta text through there that looks good. Push that back into there. You have a little mini refrigerator. USB ports here, that looks like it's a motion activated light so you can just leave that on at all times and it'll turn on when you open the door. You have outlets there and storage space all back through here. So looks like you almost, maybe it might not be wide enough, but it almost looked like you could do another mini fridge there if you wanted. Then as we step back, you do have two awnings on this travel trailer. So one up front and one here in the, on the slide out. The ladder back here is pretty unique. They use a wider ladder so that you can use this to hang towels on. And I love that you still get a ladder standard on this travel trailer so you don't have to purchase an additional ladder. Another spray port back here, you will see there are three in total. So more hot and cold water back here on the back end of your travel trailer. Accessory hitch right here rated for 300 pounds and you can add a backup camera if you would like. As we go up onto the roof, let's get up here real quick. See your 200 watt solar panel. You have your two ACs, the ACs are white. 
and then you have your WineGuard digital antenna. Everything on the roof looks good. I don't see anything that would be concerning to me. Everything looks pretty solid up here. So fully walkable roof, obviously. And then as we hop back down, 50 amp power connection on the tail end of this travel trailer right there. So that's nice. So usually in most campgrounds, it seems like the connections for your electric are on the back end of the campsite. So you don't have to worry about your cable not being able to reach or needing to purchase some like 50 foot cable or anything like that. Rack and pinion style slide out on this slide as well. You have a tankless on-demand water heater. And underneath here, you can see all of your additional connections. So this is where you control how hot or cold all of your spray port waters are. Another spray port source there. City water connection, your black tank flush valve. This is a slide out control right here. And tire pressure monitoring system, water pump switch, outlet, battery disconnect switch. Oh, and this looks like it's the piece that you would need for the manual stabilizers. So that's cool, they already give that to you there. Um, that's pretty much it in all of this space. Oh, aluminum framing throughout, welds on both sides of all of your aluminum frame connections. And I think I just about touched on everything. If I missed something, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what you think. But this has gotta be my favorite bunkhouse travel trailer that I have seen. Certainly feels the largest inside out of anything that I've seen and I'm really impressed with it. Y'all let me know what you think down below in the comments. And again, if you are interested, in this RV, this is a Blue Compass RV. They have over 100 different locations across the United States in 33 different states. So you can either go to a Blue Compass RV dealership or there's links down below in the description of this video and in the comments of this video that will take you to Blue Compass's website so you can do some online shopping, see where their locations are and get up-to-date prices. So that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and until next time, live firmly unbound.